So what, this is a table read. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read off the parts that are not under Joe Godin. And then you'll read the Joe Golden bits. Or I guess you could read you could read other parts if you want to as well. But basically we're making sure we're kind of uh, testing out your lines. Mm-hmm. All right. So. Okay. Uh, oh, we did like a voice check. check. Oh. 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 Is there an explosion at the end of this? Okay, I think I'm ready. All right. Fade in. Interior, Methodist Church, day. This is scene one. Joel Godin, that's you, is crouched behind a desk in a dark office room. The only light streaming from the door's window. Joel Godin breathes, so start breathing heavily. Joel Godin breathes heavily. Um, oh, oh, how... how. Oh, like like Just breathe heavily. <laughs> as he leans back against the... <laughs> as he leans back against the desk, stealing a quick glance at the doorway, the liberals from off-screen say, Our mother, who is within us, we celebrate your many names. He listens intently as the voice fades down the corridor and resettles himself, opening one of the drawers of the desk behind him and bringing out a crucifix. Oh, how did I get into this mess? Joel Godin clutches the crucifix and closes his eyes. Scene two, interior, kitchen, morning. Joel Godin reads his Bible with one hand as he eats from a plate of... What is this word? (laughs) Beignets? Beignets. 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 That, Beignets. That breaks all of the phonics rules, but okay. Beignets. The other, Beignets. That's, that's too French. Anyway, behind him, Mother Godin, which is me, stands <laughs> uh, stands washing some ditch, dishes by the sink. A shoulder bag lies by Joel Godin's chair, wide open. My, what a horrible dream, dream that was. was. He closes the book and lays it on the dining room. Dining table. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, honey? <laughs> oh, nothing, I suppose. Talking to myself. I had a terrible dream about the church being destroyed. It was strange. Destroyed? Did one of those Muslims blow it up? I heard from Jill next door that they're exceptionally violent. Did you know they blew up some important buildings there? In that there New York City a few years ago, Jill was telling me about it last night. Apparently, it was all over the news. Islam is a religion of peace, mother. I simply cannot believe that. It was probably some radicals who don't understand true Islamic teachings of Muhammad. Praise be to him, who is mighty of the sand dunes. No! The church was destroyed by liberalism, and there were LGB tags everywhere. It was washed and physical destruction. It was a violation of every fabric of Methodism. It tainted the Book of Discipline, the Book of Resolutions, the Bible, and I saw you get God. I don't want to think about it. I'm so sorry to hear that, dear. But you'd best be going. Doesn't the service begin soon? Yeah! It should be. I have time. Just finishing my Quaker trademark oh, mail. Do you want to come with me this week? I told you already, sweetie. I'm busy this morning. Got lots of errands to run. But you have fun. Ah, oh, the ma! I must be getting out that door. Joel Godin pushes his cereal bowl away, packing his Bible into the bag, then swings the bag around his shoulder. He takes the bowl to the sink, gives his mother a peck on the cheek, and walks over to the door, patting his pockets as he goes. Stepping at the door, he puts on his coat, a large black peacoat. Have a good day. Love you. I know. <laughs> 
<laughs> he exits on to uh, scene three, exterior, Joel Godin's house, continue, wait, what the, oh yeah, Joel, okay, yeah, it means it's continued from the last scene. The sky is overcast, and droplets of rain are beginning to come down, a low rumble of thunder emanating as Joel Godin exits the house. Joel Godin grabs an umbrella from the inside corridor of his home, shuts the door behind him, and walks briskly off down the street. The rain begins to get prog progressively worse as he goes, and people begin rushing past him in the street, hurrying off in different directions. Scene 4, Interior Methodist Church, Foyer, Day. Joel Godin enters through the main doors, coming in out of the rain and shrugs, shrugging off his coat, which fellow parishioner one takes with a smile. Thanks! No problem, good morning. Good morning to you as well. How's your week been? Well, I got fired from my job, but then my grandmother got sick, so God really blessed me in giving me the time off to give her the help she needs for a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Joel Godin is suddenly jostled by a hooded figure who hurries wordlessly past. Whoa! Saint Francis on a unicycle! Joel Godin is worthless, wordless, worldless for a moment as he studies the retreating form of the hooded figure. He blinks a few times before turning back to Parishioner 1. I'm sorry to hear about your grandmama. She'll be in my prayers. Thanks. Oh, by the way, I think you left a flag here last week. Susan told me to tell you it's in the children's hall. A flag? I don't hold any flags. Parishioner 1 shrugs. Take it up with Susan, then. Hi. Parishioner 1 turns to another parishioner who enters behind Joel Godin. Good morning, do you need a newsletter? The babble of the entering parishioners dies down as Joel Godin moves away from the scene uh, down a side corridor, coming to a door obtusely marked Children's Hall. Joel Godin enters into scene 5, interior, Children's Hall, continued. Joel Godin flicks on the light switch. An overly loud bang causes him to flinch as the room is plunged into darkness. Joel Godin looks up towards the light. My, what is going on today? He makes his way to the table at the opposite end of the hall and feels around the table. Through the dim light coming from the hallway, he feels the poorly folded flag and gathers it up, peering at it. He walks to the doorway to get a better view of it. His eyes widen. Whoa, 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 what is this? Is this a joke? It is a rainbow flag. He stares at the flag for a few seconds before shaking his head, stuffing the flag into a garbage bin. Gee, can't be happening! I'm sure it's just a coinky dink! This is just like my dream! Fade to white. Fade in. Interior, uh, scene six, interior children's hall dream. The dream is desaturated and grainy. Joel Godin stands at a table in front of the room full of children holding handmade crosses made from popsicle sticks and elastic bands. He smiles at them, chatting away for a moment before clearing his throat. <clears> throat> okay, kids. It's that my gay marriage is wrong. Ashley, who can tell me what marriage is? Susan, a modernly dressed boomer woman, enters. Uh, this is... Joey isn't here, so I'll fill in for him. Blessed morning, children, and Joel Godin. Let us give thanks, Joel Godin smiles, to the blessed mother goddess of science and the universe for making gay trans weddings to celebrate <laughs> abortions. Uh, oops. Thunder claps and the room darkens. The smile vanishes from Joel Godin's face, and he takes a step back as Susan approaches the table, Laying out the LGBT flag across it. Susan! God made us male and a female, you see? You cannot change the genders. Watch and we. It's not Susan anymore, but Pastor Guy. Susan transforms into Pastor Guy, who is, I think, Tiger, but he's not here. Joel Godin is horrified. 
His eyes turn dark, and the room becomes darker and grainier. Susan! You can't just do it! God made you a woman! I shall now exercise my right as a man to have an abortion. No! Cut to scene seven, interior children's hall, day. Joel Godin steps back and wipes the sweat from his brow. He gives the LGBT flag one wet final wary look, then walks back to down the corridor. Fade to black. Fade in. S scene eight. Interior children. Me interior Methodist Church sanctuary. Joel Godin is sitting in a pew in the back row. Pastor Guy says, "The Lord be with you all." The parishioners reply, "And also with you." Joel Godin frowns, patting down his pockets, then lightly taps himself on the head. Oh no! Where is my NRSV? I got to make sure the scripture isn't being further corrupted. <laughs> Joel Godin awkward shuffles awkwardly out of the pew, quickly exiting as Pastor Guy begins to speak. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway, because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. This turns us to our gospel reading for today, which curiously relates to bees and wildlife in God's redemptive plan. Joel Godin enters and has his gaze drawn by a glimpse of an LGBT flag. He looks more intently, but nothing is there. Pastor Guy's words become echoey and distant as uh, Joel Godin... Sorry. Yes, yeah, so, sorry to interrupt here. Um, am I? In, is this a show? Because I'm a bit confused. Uh, this is we're a table. Read. Just, no, wait, wait, no explaining. No explaining. Just keep going. We don't explain anything. What? I, I, <laughs> uh, I, 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 no. I, I can. <laughs> Pastor Guy's words become echoey and distant as Joel Godin stands at the doorway, looking around more and more frantically as he sees more and more liberal symbols. Meanwhile, eerie silence falls, and Pastor Guy looks up and opens his eyes, revealing an end portal where his soul should be. Pastor Guy says gay marriage is part of the plan of the Blessed Mother Goddess to destroy the corrupted values of Trump's America, funded by your local PBS station from viewers <laughs> like you. Thank you. And secure maximum abortions of straight, white, male, conservative clumps of cells to further the leftist LGBT agenda of destroying Wesleyan theology and traditional Judeo-Christian values. D Joel Godin's eyes widen, and he shuffles through Bible, through Bible, looking for a pastor <laughs> citing protest. The boomer, the boomer liberals stand and stare at Joel Godin with end portal eyes. Joel Godin stares in horror as liberals approach slowly, while a knocking sound gets louder and louder. With one final thump, cut to ch scene nine, interior, Joel Godin's office, day. How did I get into this mess? Another loud thump comes from the door. Hail Wesley, for the sake of fire and grace, along with thee, was it not thou amongst the illusions? And blessed is the denomination of thy doctrine and mother is on. Holy Wesley, servant of God, merit us, liberals now and now of our perfection. Amen. The liberals bust through the door and enter. Rachel, a modestly dressed woman wearing a modest, long-sleeved, ankle-length dress, a veil, and sunglasses, <laughs> enters through the back door. Uh, Rachel will be, well, ideally Microsoft Sam, but if that doesn't work, some other text-to-speech, so I'll try to speak monotone. Joel Godin, they cannot stand Wesleyan orthodoxy. So, I don't know what to do. How did you get in? Use Wesley. The door crashes open and four liberals enter. Joel Godin squeezes the stress toy, clenching his fist, and the toy shatters, sending shards of Wesley into the liberals. The liberals fall to their knees, crying and mumbling incoherently. Ah! <laughs> Joel Godin and Rachel step over them and exit into scene 10, interior, children's hall. Continue. The hall is dim. Light pours in from the hallway. Joel Godin and Rachel enter and bar the door. Rachel flicks the light switch, but it does not turn on. The bomb! Run! 
Yeah. It's all right. If it's dark, it'll be harder for them to see it. But Joel Godin, the liberals love the dark, for their deeds are evil. Like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's corrupted soul. <laughs> Joel, Godin, and Rachel make their way to the back of the hall and take out some plastic chairs and sit on them. Joel, Godin visibly relaxes. Rachel lights a candle. I'm sure we're close. Hey, where did you get that candle from? I got them on sale at stuffaliciousnessforcheap.co.uk.tk. I've had them on me ever since. I wasn't sure what to do with them. Joel Godin sits up in his chair at the mention of the website. I don't often use the site. They sell dancing equipment. You know that's a sin, dear. 90s romantic music begins to play in the background as Joel Godin's and Rachel's eyes meet in the candlelight. I feel I most time to feel like never before in the light of the Lord, 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 Rachel. Joel Godin and Rachel move closer together and hold hands and touch foreheads and noses. Fade to black. Black. Fade in. In scene 11, interior children's hall, day. Joel Godin and Rachel wake up, fully clothed, in separate sleeping bags on the floor, separated by a wall of pillows. <laughs> that was close last night! We almost lost. We should say our prayers. Oh, thank you, Lord, for giving, for giving us John Wesley. Wesley! And thank you for the hard removed cross! For protecting chesting that holiness that blocks my thought and all for super cheap! Only 40, 40 colors with the promo code I reverend. Let us pray. Um, the way that we will actually do this, I'll probably be playing uh, the audio clip of Rachel uh, doing it, and then you. Actually, I don't know how we're going to sync it, but for now, just say it yourself, I guess. Full of sanctifying grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among theologians, as blessed is the domination of thy doctrine. And like the design, only Wesley is servant of God. May it press the blows now in the hour of our perfection. Amen. 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 Let us agree never to approach the occasion of dancing again. Tell marriage. And then only for appropriate purposes. A liberal jump scares through the window. Rachel screams, Ah! And Joel Godin holds her. It looks like a mix between an SJW and a gremlin. It's okay! I should have broken ship. What is it? I can't tell. I think it's a transsexual! Joel Godin rolls over the body. There is end portal in the liberal's eyes. Oh heavens, what is it? What is it, Joel Godin? Definitely a Joel Osteen! <laughs> Joel Godin brings out a crucifix, and the body fades away. A liberal jump scares into the roof. Rachel screams, Ah! And Joel Godin holds her. It's okay! That's a broken, broken ship. ship! What is it? I can't tell! I think it's a transsexual! Joel Godin rolls over the body. There's end portal in the liberal's eyes. Oh heavens, what is it? What is it, Joel Godin? Definitely a liberal! No! A liberal jump scares in through the roof. Rachel screams. Ah! Uh, and Joel Godin holds her. It's okay! I'm thinking! Huh! What is it? Crowns. Joel Godin brings out the crucifix again, and the body fades. Joel Godin gives a statue of the Blessed Virgin Mary to Rachel. Take this! I cannot stand tradition or a sham doctrine! Liberal One jump scares in through the roof. 
Rachel screams. Ah. And Joel Godin holds her. Liberal one cringes from the crucifix and prostrates in front of the statue of Mary. Don't move! It's your I just realized that we need to cast liberals too. <laughs> Our mother, who is within us, we celebrate your many names. Your wisdom come, your will... Oops. Uh, your wisdom come, your will be done, unfolding from the depths within us. Each day you give us all that we need. You remind us of our limits and we let go. You support us in our power and we act with courage. For you are the dwelling place within us, the empowerment around us, and the celebration among us now and forever. Ah, women. Meanwhile, Hello, Joel Gordon slowly creeps behind Liberal One and stabs it with the crucifix. What was it? Oh, it was supposed to be singing. <laughs> I didn't realize. What was it singing? I don't know. It was chickening. Joel Godin begins swaying and pukes. <laughs> His eyes darken slightly. I feel like so good. Oh, Joel Godin. Uh, I don't, this is, the formatting got messed up here, but Joel Godin begins weeping, huh, huh, wah, wah, and begins falling wah. into Joel Godin's arms. Joel Godin hands her a tissue. tissue. Here! Yeah. Thanks. A liberal jump scares into the back door. Run. run! Joel Godin and Rachel run opposite directions. Rachel runs out of the back door into the corridor. Joel Godin runs into scene 12. Interior Methodist Church corridor continued. The corridor is barely lit. Uh, we often believe in God, the life force, friendly observer of heaven and earth. We believe in a Jesus Christ, our good example, who might have been conceived by the Holy Spirit if you go for that sort of thing. Born as a woman, Mary, victimized by the government, was crucified, died, and buried. He descended to the dead. Joel Godin put his hands over, puts his hands over his ears, visibly distressed and breathing heavily. Again. Maybe, Maybe just spiritually in the hearts of his followers, we're not sure. He ascended into heaven, he is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come, but not to judge anybody, because judging is bad. We believe in the sending of good thoughts, the whole good Catholic pluralism, the communion of mankind, the redefinition of sins, and the supremacy of the body, and that as somehow everybody makes it. Except Hitler and Donald Trump. Ah, woman. The liberals continue chant. Why did I put changing? The liberals continue Shit. chanting. They raise, they chase Rachel and Joel Godin through the impractically designed church, each running down seemingly never-ending corridors. They grow progressively darker and more damaged the longer they run. Fade to black. Fade in. Scene thirteen. A liberal jump scares Rachel, who screams, Ah! and drops the Mary statue, which shatters loudly on the ground. Cut to scene 14. Interior Methodist Church hallway continued. Rachel! Joel Godin looks back toward the corridor. A liberal jump scares him. Ah! He stabs the liberal with the crucifix and continues running. Uh, scene 15. Interior Methodist Church corridor. A liberal grabs Rachel by the heel and begins tearing off her dress and reaching for her veil. Why so modest? Empower yourself! Stop feminizing yourself! Dress like a man! Rachel is dragged down the corridor, screaming. Ah! Fade to black. Fade in. Scene 16. Interior Methodist Church hallway. Morning. Joel Godin is alone and moving slowly. The, lo the corridor is dark. Exposed wiring is everywhere. The floor, ceiling, and walls are nowhere near up to code. The building is creaking. Liberal 2 jumps stairs in front of him. You must become a woman! Nani! 
<laughs> Liberal 2 gasps and grasps her throat. Joel Godin shoves her out of the way and starts running. Further on, Joel Godin finds Rachel lying on the floor with the torn dress and blouse, missing her veil and a shoe. He kneels beside her. Rachel! Rachel! Rachel. Oh! Rachel! The, the liberals found me. They tore my dress. They tried to take my bra for gender equality. But I got it from, but I I got it from protectyourchastity.holiness.blogspot.nl. That's P R O T E C T Y O U R C H A S T I T Y dot H O L I N E S S dot B L O G S P O T dot N L for super cheap, only forty dollars with the promo code I Reverend. They could not get it off. Oh, Joel Godin, it was horrible. But I'm so glad I bought my underwear from there. Rachel looks at the camera. And you should, too. Come on, Rachel! I've got the freedom of the floor here! Our parish is corrupt! There's none of those good! Nay! That's one! Fade to black. Fade in. Interior. Uh, scene 16. Interior. Christian chicken restaurant. Filet. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Day. Uh, Joel Godin and Rachel sit at a table in the restaurant, both filthy and attracting a few looks from the customers around them. Joel Godin is squinting. Good morning, Charlesius. No, no, sorry. I love this place. I think it works right for Christian chicken restaurant. This is that good. Joel Godin, I have something to tell you. Oh. It's a shame we haven't got a coupon code for this one. <laughs> I've done something terrible. What? I. I. That's what is that? Joel Godin leans forward and holds Rachel's hands concernedly. I, a, Kane's sob. I sob, eight sob, at sob, K's sob, un sob, rain sob, yes sob, er sob, day sob. <laughs> oh, Rachel! Oh, uh, Joel Godin's countenance becomes downcast. I'm sorry, I, I was weak. You've got a manager. Joel Godin and Rachel walk to the assistant manager, and Joel and Rachel enters the booth. The booth is sturdy and wooden, with a section for the assistant manager to sit, and a screen behind which the penitent Christian chicken restaurant goer can sit. Rachel sits behind the screen and makes a diagonal cross sign from so shoulders to waist. Bless me, assistant manager, for I have sinned. It has been two days since my last Jesus chicken. Yesterday I ate a chicken sandwich from at K's and Rain's. I have defiled myself with worldly chicken, and I repent. Oh, as Trudy Catholic, I am sorry for having eaten a K's and Rain's chicken sandwich, and I detest all the calories and non-fresh ingredients they use. Most of all, O oh, Kathy, because they offend you, great provider of the Lord's chicken, chicken which is most delicious and deserving of my hard-earned money. I firmly resolve, with the help of your grace and convenient locations within, with drive throughs within a few miles of my home, to eat at Sailorman's no more, and to avoid the temptation to eat at Captain Florida's chicken, Popeye's, and other heathen chicken. Uh, the assistant manager will be voiced by a really uh, hard-to-understand uh, uh, Texas speech thing. Okay. Joel Godin steps away from the booth, and the voice voices fade out of earshot. He looks around the store at the children playing around, ducking and weaving between the busy customers and smiles. Liberals jump scare through the window and begin chasing customers. Oh my Wesley! You show we're sacred! The liberals convert dozen, dozens of customers who begin chanting. We often believe in God, the five force friendly observer of heaven and earth. Action! Wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. That's the mother The assistant manager runs at the liberals with a chicken wing and throws sauce on them. 
the liberals recoil <laughs> and burn. <laughs> One liberal rips out the beating heart of the assistant manager. Blood comically sprays all over Rachel, Joe Godin, and the restaurant floor. The <laughs> assistant manager laughs maniacally as she collapses <laughs> to the floor, almost falling onto Rachel. Rachel and Joel Godin run from the Christian Chicken Restaurant as it explodes. Scene 18. Exterior. Christian Chicken Restaurant. Continued. Oops. Uh, Rachel and Joel Godin weep as the Christian Chicken Restaurant smokes. Sirens wail in the background, and a crowd begins to gather outside the restaurant. Many customers beating their breasts or kneeling or prostrate. Dramatic music plays over slow-motion shots of smoke and survivors mourning and escaping, interspersed with flashbacks and foreshadowing. Meanwhile, customer one kneels with rent clothes and laments. That's you, folks. Sorry, what? Speak your Read the lament. <laughs> Read the lament. I wasn't paying attention there, too. <laughs> oh, um, give me a sec. 18. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's scene 18, line 104. We're on page 18. Um, page 17. It's page 17. Page 18 on my screen. Okay, gotcha. Oh, no, this is a different one. Which one? The, it's That's shooting the Methodist. One. It's, it's page... Go, yeah. it's okay, page. I got it. Don't worry. I got it. It's Thy glory, O America, is slain upon the high places. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Tell it not in Kentucky. Publish it not in the streets of New York. That's the daughters of... Ca Cap what? Let the daughter, let the daughters of Captain Florida Chicken rejoice. Let the daughters of the uncircumcised exult. Ye mountains of Appalachia, let there be no dew or rain upon you, nor upsurging of the deep. For in this land, the canteen of the mighty was defiled, the restaurant of Kathy, not anointed with oil. Ye daughters of America, weep over Christian Chicken Restaurant, who fed you daintily intended chicken, who put delicious foods within your stomach. How are the mighty fallen in the midst of the battle against liberalism? How are the mighty fallen and the weapons of the culture war diminished? Be, before she she told me we need to reach St. George's in Philadelphia, the first American church. The orthodoxy there will destroy the liberals who hold the church captive. Joel Godin collapses. Oop, ah, crap. Um, hold on. I lost my place. Uh, fortunately, there Rachel, are page numbers. That was an interesting acting out of Joel falling over. Um... Uh, Joel Godin collapses. Rachel helps him up. The liberalism. Itch, itch. My soul is falling into the void. I cannot bear to see my church fall like this. Uh, give me a second. Um, Rachel sobs. Sob. 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 <laughs> what can we do, darling? Oh, if only I weren't so helpless. We are messing with Paris for me on our control, Rachel. Only we're going to help. Oh, Christ. And what is this prophet? It's fair upon him. Well, we'll be able to beat this liberal threat. Are you ready to come with me? Always. Then we've got to find the church and get to the conference. We've got to stop the liberalization of Methodism. We've got to. We've got to. We've got to. Fade to black. Fade in. Interior, uh, scene 19. Exterior. Joel Godin's house. Night. Liberals are patrolling the street. One of them whistles. <whistles> as he walks past the hiding place of Joel Godin and Rachel. A light rain pervades the scene, and mist rises from the ground in an eerie manner, as if early morning. How are we going to sneak past? Have faith, my dear. The Lord is cast into the leaf. The decision is holy from the Lord. Joel Godin takes out a D20 die and rolls it on the ground. Seventeen! Oh, wait! I need to roll again. I have disadvantage on this roll. Joel Godin picks up the d20 and rolls it again. Nine! Joel Godin and Rachel wordlessly creep up, uh, creep toward the house. 
They open the front door and enter. Scene 20. Interior, Joel Godin's house, continued. Where a liberal lies in wait. I'm getting some aspirin from the medicine cabinet. <laughs> Rachel walks past the liberal into the bathroom. The liberal slowly approaches Joel Godin from the shadows as he wanders around the living room, waiting for Rachel to return, and Rachel is off screen. Which shelf is it on? Bottom shelf! The liberal creeps closer. Rachel is still off screen. I can't find it. Joel Godin sighs. <laughs> Let me get it for you. The liberal lunges at Joel Godin as Joel Godin walks into the bathroom without notice. The liberal jumps into scene 21, interior, Joel Godin's bathroom continued. The liberal attempts to claw at Joel Godin, but, li oh, but uh, Rachel jumps in front and takes the force of the blow. The liberal's hag-like claws scratching Rachel's cheek. Joel Godin stabs the liberal with a crucifix. The liberal winces in pain. Rachel screams. Ah. What? That? How monster do to you? Tis but a scratch. Rachel faints into Joel Godin's arms. Joel Godin barely managing to catch catch her as she falls. Sorry, uh, my internet crapped. Uh, I didn't hear your line. Rachel! Rachel! Please! Share me, Rachel! 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 Uh, Joel Gordon weeps. Fade to, fade to black. Fade in. S scene 22. Interior, Joel Godin's house. Day. Rachel is asleep on the couch. Joel Godin is sitting at her side. Rachel begins to stir. Rachel! Rachel! Tis but a scratch. I thought I lost you! We need to have faith that God will deliver us. Faith is what sets us apart from the liberals. Inspiring music begins playing. Joel Godin stands up. You're right, Rachel! That's right, the lost Christ driver! That's right, there's a 90 degree angle! As red as it's right, it is not a certain from Dominic to the other, no? Dominic to the other, I need a certain from Chief right now, please, I'm here, but it's an end of the We must stand up to the liberals and show them what's what. We must fight them in the islands. We must fight them in the arenas. We must fight them in the interrealms. We must fight them at the dinner table. We shall not rest as every stinky liberal is white from the face of the United Methodist Church. Joe Godin looks at the camera. Now I want the most Scene 23, interior advertising studio. Uh, the souls salesman will be voiced by Barack Obama. Uh, I'll do the term voice. What? Are you a human? Do you desire the fulfillment of a basic human need? Well, I have just the thing for you, you stupid dick. Did you really think this piece of garbage we call a movie would have a budget, not a lot of sponsor? How naive of you, you manipulated little dimwit. You have always got to skip this ad, but jokes are new. We have no advertisers. You disgust me. You have everything that's wrong with America today. You probably are a sister. God, ever. You miss snorting low. I should slit your throat and your mother in front of you. You are some old chicken nugget. Now back to the show. Scene 24, uh, interior, Joel Godin's house, day. Joel Godin is sitting in a swivel chair in a dark room, petting a ginger cat. Liberal 3 enters. Oh. Joel Godin swivels his chair to face Liberal 3. Well, well, well. They say you have become the market. But I do not negotiate with terrorists, my lady. <laughs> Rachel jumps out and fires seven times at Liberal 3 while screaming. Take that, you baby-killing poof. 
Our mother who is within us, we celebrate your many names. Your wisdom come, your will be done, unfolding from the depths within us. Each day you give us all that we need. You remind us of our limits and we let go. You support us in our power and we act with courage. For you are the dwelling place within us, the empowerment around us, and the celebration among us now and forever. Amen. As liberal three chants, Rachel drops the gun and backs away in fear. I should have grown stronger! Horde of liberals join the chant. Joel Godin and Rachel are chased by liberals into scene 25, exterior, Joel Godin's house, day, continued. Joel Godin trips and Rachel helps him up. The chanting of the parishioners intensifies as the swarm of liberals swells. Joel Godin and Rachel continue running down the street. Scene 26, interior, Lutheran church, uh, continued. Rachel and Joel Godin run in from the outside, barring the door as they enter. Joel Godin leans against the door and sighs. We should be shaping here. It is an MCMS charge. What's that sound from the back room? Joel Godin removes his headphones. I did not hear anything. I was wearing my voice cancelling headphones from va.metavirus.stuff.com.net. Martin, Katie, and William enter. Uh, hold on, I'll be right back. There. All right. My brother's not available to read his line, so I'll do it for him. Uh, Martin, bl- Katie is a blonde eye candy in a uh, in a camisole and short shorts. Martin, who would be voiced by my brother, but uh, he's not available right now, is buzz cut and wearing an A shirt and gym shorts, revealing his bulging muscles. William looks stupid, is tall with long hair and a very short beard. Stop where you are, I'll tear your spleen out your nose and use it for your coffin. Uh, we don't have, wait, do we have a William? I don't even remember. Oh yeah, I think I'm William. Um, what voice did I use for William? I don't remember. Um, uh, I'm William, so... Uh, hold on, let me pull up my audition to remember what voice I was using. Because uh, I had a particular... Because I think I was putting on some kind of voice. Um, Your voice, voice sounds, sounds stupid, stupid, but not, not that stupid. stupid. Uh, where did I put it? I thought I posted it. Uh... <laughs> Uh, hold on. We are incredibly organized. <laughs> All right, here it is. We should just, just, we should just, just put, put all, all of these breaks, breaks into the script. <laughs> <laughs> we can, uh, if Moss and I can edit it all together if he wants to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't. It's okay, I got this. Alright, okay. Uh, Alright, I got the voice. <clears throat> Calm down, Martin. Who are you, people? Joe Gordon! Try that one more, more time. time. I'm Joe Gordon! Gordon. Rachel. Rachel. We're Methodist! Are you Methodist? Well, hide somewhere else. This is our place. Stop being a jerk, Martin. They can stay here if they want. Let's show them around. We can't show them around, you retard. The place is crawling with liberals. Why are they crawling? Are the babies? Hello, Roger. Shag? Yeah, dude. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Dude, what? Dude, what? That was so Rachel begins crying. Boo, who, who? Dude, you must be killed in the church. The sanctuary, it's this way. A liberal jump scares them, and they all run into uh, scene 27, interior, Luther's, Lutheran Church Corridor, night. All five are walking down the ne dark, narrow corridor. So what is y'all's names? I'm Martin. This is William and Katie. No, I'm William. That's what I said, dummy! And then Katie speaks, and we don't have a Katie yet, um, so I'll do it. Oh, I'm tired of walking. Look, I'm tired of walking. When are we gonna have some fun? You should make folks do that one. <laughs> yeah, folks, you gotta do that one. We want times with you doing it. What one, sir? You're Katie now. <laughs> it's page 24, line uh, 153. Get on your best woman voice. 24. Scene 27. 150. I'm tired of walking bit. Your voice. <laughs> Is that it, mate? Just say your line, like, Joel. Well, chipmunk you. <laughs> Is it if I'm tired of walking? Yes. Is that it? Okay. Um, uh, I'm tired of walking. When are we going to have some fun? <laughs> that sounded like a white, like a white California girl. That was perfect. Thank you. <laughs> that sounded nothing like a California girl. But please say your line, Joel. <laughs> I cannot We must get to St. George's Church in Philadelphia. Philadelphia, what are you doing in a floor at church then, moron? We thought we'd be safe from the liberals here, and we need sleep. Eat sleep. Come on, Martin, can we please stop? <laughs> No, Katie, we cannot stop. We have to get to the sanctuary to escape the liberals. <laughs> I don't, I don't see, see what's so bad, bad about liberals, liberals anyway. anyway. Everyone stops walking. William runs into them. What's so bad about liberals? What's so bad about liberals? What's so bad about liberals? Is this the question? What's so bad about the liberals? Hey, the story of the Dutch! Dutch. They go out the doctrine into religion. They bless and be crushed. And they've sent for lives of sin. And sin. And then they got sin. We often believe in God, the life force friendly observer of heaven and earth. We believe in a Jesus Christ, our good example. Who might have been conceived by the Holy Spirit if you go for that sort of thing. Born of the woman Mary, victimized by the government, was crucified, died, and buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, maybe just spiritually in the hearts of his followers, we're not sure. He ascended into heaven, he is seated at the right hand of the mother, and he will come. But not to judge anybody, because judging is bad. We believe in the sending of good thoughts, the holy Catholic pluralism, the communion of mankind, the redefinition of sins, the supremacy of the body, and that somehow everybody makes it, except Hitler and Donald Trump. Amen. Time to go! Move. Everyone begins moving except Katie, who is hypnotized. Martin tries to get her to move. Come on, Katie, we gotta go. Come on, Katie, the liberals are gonna catch us. Katie? We often believe in God, the life most friendly observer of heaven and earth. 
<laughs> sounded exactly like a modern Catholic. <laughs> Katie joins the chant and becomes a liberal. Martin runs away. Scene 28, interior, Lutheran uh, church sanctuary. Martin, William, Joe Go- Joel Godin, and Rachel enter. Um, uh, hold on. Ah, I have so many things open. <laughs> um, uh, Martin, Rachel bars the door while Joel you, Godin Martin. holds Martin back. Those frigging frellers took Katie. Let me at them, let me at them. Why not just ask for her to come back? You can't just go out of there, man! She's gone! I'm sorry, but she's gone! She gave a shit on the devil! There's nothing we can do! You mean there's nothing you can do? Martin opens the door and runs into the liberals. He attempts to fight them, but they pull him up into the dark ceiling. It's okay, I got this. William walks to the door. Hey man, how about you let Martin and Katie go and we all sit down and have a meal and talk about this? Why can't we be friends? A liberal tears out William's throat and blood splatters everywhere. (laughs) Rachel screams. Ah! Joel Godin runs to the front of the sanctuary, grabs a crucifix, chases the liberals into the corridor and bars the door. Back to you, buddy, Santa supporters! <laughs> Joel Godin and Rachel sit against the door, panting. How did you get in here? Devil, we should not be able to enter a Lutheran church in the Missouri sideline like that! Rachel turns pale. Joel Godin, look, look. Joel Godin's eyes widen, and he rises in horror, and approaches the front of the sanctuary. No! 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 Gosh! No! No! (laughs) The sign at the front reads E-L-C-A. Joel Godin falls to his knees and tears his clothes. In slow motion, the liberals jump scare through the door. Joel Godin closes his eyes and stays motionless while the liberals chant. Uh, you know, know, we can copy-paste copy this from um, you saying it before you to keep saying it. But, but this isn't uh, the script, whatever. I w- but I want to, though. <laughs> we often believe in God, the life force friendly observer of heaven and earth. <laughs> We believe in our Jesus Christ, our good example, who might have been conceived by the Holy Spirit if you go for that sort of thing. Born of the woman Mary, victimized by the government, was crucified, died, and buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, maybe just spiritually in the hearts of his followers, we're not sure. He ascended into heaven, he is seated at the right hand of the mother, and he will come, but not to judge anybody, because judging is bad. We believe in the sending of good thoughts, the holy Catholic pluralism, the communion of mankind, the redefinition of sins, the supremacy of the body, and that somehow everybody makes it, except Hitler and Donald Trump. Our mother who is within us, we celebrate your many names. Your wisdom come, your will be done, unfolding from the depths within us. Each day you give us all that we need. You remind us of our limits and we let go. You support us in our power and we act with courage. For you are the dwelling place within us, the empowerment around us and the celebration among us now and forever. Long fade to black. Scene 28. The liberals and Rachel off-screen say, Ah, women. Cut to scene 29. Interior, Lutheran Church Sanctuary, night. Sanctuary is blood red and grainy. Joel Godin's eyes snap open, and he throws the crucifix in his hands at the ELCA sign, which sticks into the sign like a dart. The liberals begin to screech, and cover their ears as Joel Godin in slow motion grabs the hands of Rachel 
and elbows past the liberals. They jump out of the window onto scene 30, exterior Lutheran church continued, and run what down the street hand around? in hand. Oh, thank thank George, George the Third. Pray for us. us. Hello. Hello. Hail was Man. that full of sanctifying grace. Rachel's voice I, fades out of the as the characters continue running down the street long to long out of sight. Can I add what this is? Uh, no. Table read. Long fade to black. Two weeks later, fade in. Scene thirty one. Interior Christian chicken restaurant. Day. Joel. <laughs> Joel Godin and Rachel are sitting at a booth. Both look jumpy. They're both filthy. Each keeps looking, he keeps looking around, paranoid at the people around them. <clears throat> Thank Thank you said the Apostles Creed, Creed, Rachel. I swear I didn't. You did. No, I didn't. I heard you. No, you didn't. I heard you. Are you Are calling you me a liar? Are you calling me a liar? I asked you first. You accused me first. I told you I'm not a liberal. But you said the creed! No, I didn't. I told you I didn't. Why don't you believe me? Don't you trust me? I... I want to reach you. I do. But I've been hurt too many times. I can't do that you do this. Every single time, a judgment betrayed me. Oh, my friends. He betrayed me. No one knows. There's no one left, Rachel. No one. You are all I have left. I'll never try to look at you. I hear those gentle words ringing into my ears. Joel Godin holds back tears. Rachel leans forward and holds his hand. Romantic music swells and they lean in to kiss, but an explosion interrupts them. Liberals swarm in and say the chant again. <laughs> Joel Godin and Rachel hold hands and run out of the Christian Chicken Restaurant as it explodes. Scene 32, exterior, Christian Chicken Restaurant, continued. Rachel and Joel Godin weep as the Christian Chicken Restaurant smokes. Sirens wail in the background, and a crowd begins to gather outside the restaurant, many customers beating their breasts and or kneeling and, or prostrating. Dramatic music plays in slow mo plays over slow-motion shots of smoke and survivors mourning and escaping, interspersed with flashbacks and foreshadowing. Meanwhile, customer two <laughs> kneels with rent clothes and laments, Thy glory, <laughs> O America, is slain upon the high places. Wait, no, oh, is it folks was to say this line? Tell it not in Kentucky. Publish it not in the streets of New York, lest the daughters of Captain Florida Chicken rejoice. Lest the daughters of the uncircumcised exult. Ye mountains of Appalachia, let, no, let there be no dew or rain upon you, nor upsurging of the deep. For in this land the canteen of the mighty was defiled, the restaurant of Kathy, not anointed with oil. Ye daughters of America, weep over Christian chicken restaurant who fed you daintily and tender chicken, who put delicious foods within your stomach. How are the mighty fallen in the midst of the battle against liberalism? How are the mighty fallen in the weapons of the culture war diminished. Joel Godin drops <laughs> Rachel's hand. <laughs> How could you, Rachel? This was our last hope. Rachel weeps as Joel Godin turns and walks away. Joel Godin, I didn't. What do I have to do to prove it to you? I love you, Joel Godin. You 
everyone take a miracle on 34th Street for me to trust you again. Rachel smiles and stands. Then I guess I need a miracle worker. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Rachel walks away. Joel Godin sobs. <laughs> Long fade to black. Fade in. Exterior, Phil scene 33. Exterior, Philadelphia, night. It is a dark and stormy night. Joel Godin stands melodramatically on a bench. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Joel Godin stands melodramatically on a bench under a lamppost. <laughs> <laughs> wearing a coat uh, wearing a hat and coat and shades smoking a la film noir uh, Joel Godin Joel Godin looks away fake Rachel enters wearing no sunglasses and kisses Joel Godin oh Joel Godin Joel, Go Joel Godin turns his back uh, to fake Rachel Don't worry, it's not a real cigarette, it's just candy. Oh, never mind that. You know I can trust you again. That's not the way you did me. Fake Rachel sobs. Sob, sob, sob. Oh, Joel Godin, I'm so sorry for what I did, but I came back to tell you that, that. Joel Godin swings around angrily, poised to hit fake Rachel. If it's so important, spare us, demon! I'm pregnant. Joel Godin is taken aback. What? From off screen, that's not me. Joel Godin and fake Rachel turn to face the voice. Rachel enters wearing sunglasses and points at fake Rachel. That's not me. That's a zombie dragon vampire werewolf the liberals made to fool you. They want you to marry him and surrender to the LGBT agenda. Then fa uh, the other Rachel says, Don't <laughs> believe him, Joel Godin. He's the zombie dragon vampire werewolf, not me. I love you, Joel Godin. Then the other Rachel says, I'm the real Rachel. Listen to me, Joel Godin. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Joel Godin steps back and draws his gun. Do you want me to take fake Rachel for this? What? No, go what? Ahead. His eyes and gun dart between jo Rachel and fake Rachel, who point at each other. Shoot him, other Rachel. Wait, no. Wait, hold on. What? <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> that's a that's a rather major typo there. Um, <laughs> other Good Rachel. God. No, shoot yeah. him. Other Rachel, so you admit I'm a her. Other Rachel, you admit I'm a you. Other Rachel, go to hell where you be, where you liberal scum belong. Uh, fake Rachel, Joel Godin, don't you want this? A wife, a child, a family. Isn't this exactly the sort of thing that the liberals would try to take away? Rachel. The liberals are trying to appeal to your family values. Joel Godin. See through the lies. They are shameless. Fake Rachel. The liberals cannot even imitate morality. You know this, Joel <laughs> Godin. They do not have the capacity. Oh, wait. This is real. Ah, oh, dang it. I can't. Rem I don't even know which is which. <laughs> Whatever. You know this, Joel Godin. They do not have the capacity to comprehend the notion of a wholesome family unit. Other Rachel, you pit of vipers. Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. Joel Godin grabs his head. You're lying, Other Rachel. No, you're lying. Rachel and fake Rachel begin physically fighting. Joel Godin jerks up and holds the gun to his head. Oh, what if I just kill myself? What about that? Is that what you want? Better her, better than her having you, other Rachel. Joel Godin, no. Put the gun down. She's the real Rachel, not me. Joel Godin shoots fake Rachel, who collapses. Joel Godin and Rachel run towards Wait, each other. What? Joel Godin shoots fake Rachel, who collapses. 
Joel, Godin, and Rachel run towards each other to embrace. Fake Rachel rises as a giant fire-breathing dragon and begins laying waste to Philadelphia. <laughs> it's a safety! Joel, Godin, and Rachel run for a nearby alley. Joel Godin holds Rachel close as they turn their eyes from the carnage. They sob. <laughs> sob, sob, sob. If I would just killed you instead, we could have been married. Innocent people would not be dying. It's okay, Joel Godin. I forgive you. Okay, hold on. Let me get into character for John Velsing. <clears throat> From off screen. Uh, uh, dang it, I closed it. Darn it! I closed the window somehow. Um, unless someone else wants to try to voice John Velsing. <laughs> Yippee ki little zombie dragon! Uh. Uh. uh oh, I'm almost to the place. Okay. Yippee ki liberal zombie dragon! John Velsing leaps into the air, dual wielding machine guns, firing at fake Rachel. He is dressed in a leather outfit with sunglasses and a long coat, like in The Matrix. He stands on the ground, epic superhero style. He looks at the camera and smiles like a badass. The power of Christ and of Wesley, his, vi his servant, compels you to be gone, vile demon! Fake Rachel continues burning Philadelphia, ignoring John Velsing. Velsing leaps into the air again, but runs out of bullets. He grabs onto fake Rachel's back and begins beating her with his bare hands. That now it's co Joel's line. Oh crap! Not again. My vo um, uh, my internet kicked me off again. Um. Uh. What the ah dang it! Too many windows open. Um, oh crap. No, <laughs> we for most of us. Okay, I, okay, I'm back. My internet is really stupid tonight for some reason. Uh, he grabs onto fake Rachel's back and begins beating her with his bare hands. L uh, line 230. Oops. I should help! Like that. I should help him! Are you crazy? You would be annihilated instantly. Let John Velsing do his work. Rachel fawns over Velsing. Oh, come on. I'm just as manly as he is. Sure you are, sweetie. But John Velsing is too dreamy to get hurt. Joel Godin rolls his eyes and runs into the open. Hey, you! Yeah, you! Can you kiss your transgender mother with that fire breath? Fake Rachel roars and Joel Godin runs back to the alley. My hero. Got American Boo! The conference! Small pieces of shrapnel begin to fall from the sky as fake wait, what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Small pieces of shrapnel begin to fall from the sky <laughs> as fake Rachel's roar pervades. All light is dimmed except for the occasional bursts of fire in the distance. Uh, Joel Godin and Rachel begin to run through the alley. Fade to black. Fade in. Uh, scene 34. Interior room. Dream. The scene is misty and incandescent, as at first pitch black by lighting Joel Godin's face as he faces the silhouette of John Velsing. <clears throat> Hey, kid, get me a glass of water, will you? Joel Godin has a jug of water by his side. He pours out into a glass as Velsing continues. This isn't my story, kid. You need to remember that. You are the hero of this story, for better or worse. And the choices you made, they're on you. 
Of course, sure, bud. Wait. Quick story. Is that me? <laughs> John Velsing moves closer to Joel Godin. You're not getting it. John Velsing moves in closer, and as his figure is more illuminated, Joel Godin lets out a wide gasp. As Velsing's deformities are made apparent, all the skin on his skull is yellowed and sags around his skull with two burning yellow eyes. John Velsing grins toothfully at Joel Godin, who recoils audibly. <coughs> Your choice is, son. Let's remember him. You led a trail of destruction across America and your anti-liberal goals, and I commend you with that. But what you were really, fr really running from will never leave you. Joel Godin looks around. What do you mean? The script? You, kn <laughs> <laughs> you, you know it deep down inside. Deep down inside, you know the real reason you oppose the liberals. Is because you are one. No! That's not true! You're not my father! <laughs> <laughs> the cackling of John Velsing follows him. <laughs> as John as Joel Godin backs away, the glass of water dropping to the ground and disappearing in the smoky floor, only to come crashing down from the sky. Shards of glass what? fly everywhere, and as one shard makes its way to Joel Godin's face, cut to scene thirty five, interior taxi cab, night. Joel Godin <laughs> jolts awake next to Rachel. <laughs> Oh, sorry, was this not the address you wanted? <laughs> uh, we're at the conference. What's the matter? <laughs> scene, scene 36, exterior conference church. Night, continued. The weather continues to storm and buffet <laughs> Joel Godin and Rachel as they get, exit the taxi cab and it drives away. Police sirens wail in the background. Joel Godin and Rachel look to one another, then struggle against the wind into Scene 37, Interior, Philadelphia Church, Continued. The porch is dark, except for... Except for can... Wait, what? The porch is dark? Except for uh, candles lining the walls and leading down a long and rickety flight of stairs. Rachel takes one look and hides behind Joel Godin. As the two are talking, their voice drop to a whisper. Oh, Joel Godin. Hold me, I'm scared. Here! This is You're supposed to be whispering. What? what? Your wh whisper. The voices are a whisper. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? What did I just walk into? Oh, oh, oh I was women. expecting some product. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh, there's too many yelling. yelling. What's going on? Nothing going on here! Just can say your line, Joel. I'm, I'm so confused. We're doing table reads for a film. It's not important. Oh, y'all are making a film. You already said that line. Oh, I was expecting some product placement there. Catholic. 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 I have no idea what you're Catholic. talking about, Joel. Line oh, everyone's Catholic. Okay. Line 252. Oh, oh orthodox. orthodox. Okay. Now uh, shut up and let me say my line. This is it. I'm suddenly terrified. What did I say? Let me say my line. Get it out. Just say line 52, 252. I just said it! I didn't hear you. I just said it! I'm suddenly terrified. What if they don't vote for it? The spirit of Wesleyan orthodoxy will never leave the true church, TM. But why is it so quiet? All that can be heard is the creaking of the wooden stairs as they make their way down to uh, scene 38, interior, conference room, continued. Joel Godin and Rachel creep into the room, which is large and circular and pitch black except for a candle in front of each hooded conference member and a giant neon billboard with two large zeros on it. 
Uh, I think Bagels voices the LGBT bishop. It is time. Time at last to vote on the vo vote on the bill. I'm so glad you could make it in time. The LGD LGBT bishop's face looks for a second like John Velsing, then quickly retreats back into a shadowy hood. I shall learn. Not to say Joel Osteen there. <laughs> Take two. Take two. <laughs> I, Joe Golden, as a member of the United Methodist Church, the one venerable Roman Catholic Church and Wesleyan Church, do you my call upon the my rights most blessed and ancient of all Methodists, the right of church democracy? A hush falls on the crowd. Aye, do ye now? And you're absolutely sure that's what the two of you want? That's supposed to be the LGBT bishop, by the way. <laughs> I was hoping I'd get that line. Yes. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Make your, make your case, and we will cast our votes. Someone starts playing dramatic organ music. Let me pull up... No, uh, no hold on. Oh, let me look for some Creative Commons uh, organ music to play while we're doing this... Uh, no, that's not Creative Commons, you fool! No! <laughs> that's also not an organ, so... Yeah, well... <laughs> you know what? I'll do uh, it. Uh, Creative... I'm doing it. Uh, hold on. <clears throat> hold on, okay, I found something. Um... I am doing it. Take a skip to the video. What on earth? Is the bot glitched or something? Cleanse my heart and lips, O oh Lord. That I may proclaim thy holy gospel against the liberals. <clears throat> Why are you Irish now? <laughs> can you skip I'm church dating back from its founding as the Methodist Episcopal Church, as words with social gospel and the love and value of the Lord. Ye seek today within the Methodist Church that is united, founded in 1968, and the Dallas, Texas Conference of the Unification of the Church of the Methodist Church of the Evangelical United Brother Church. It's nothing short of heresy. Rather, it is not the poor abortion view, with the exception of rape or incest. It's an active attempt to deny biblical teachings of man and woman, and by extension, denies allegory. Not the allegory Wesleyan connection, though. Why should I end the church? The liberals begin booing. Boo! Boo! A few pieces of food land near Joel Godin's feet. Um as the liberals begin throwing things at him. We, we all love our God for who we are. But who we are is not what we love for what we eat or drink, and who we are is not what we are. It is not okay to make sin acceptable not to, when we are striving for Christian perfectionism, life without intentional sin. We, we, we cannot condemn our soul by changing the doctrine of the Apostle John Wesley because anyone is a national and intellectual sin. I bless the Lord, holy God, everlasting Father of Alpha and Omega, and only laid down for the sin for what is not by his servants. And what we know that his body is true because they are contrarians, rebelling against the ancient doctrines of the ancient Baptists. <laughs> Suddenly, a Never small dean this. marks a sign at the back of the room, taking one point in favor of Joel Godin's position. Joel Godin lets out a breath and stands up straighter. But it is our church! The sun against God's view of our heavenly, humanly changing the Bible, creates a vision schism between those who are in one that can change up to face of loneliness and comfort here. And those who adore our Lord and Savior, the Prince of Peace and the Mokasei, each having the right to kiss own religion, but conforming to the teachings of the Reverend John Wesley, except when he was wrong about dating. The 
Now we should repent of our sins. Instead, we seek hope and seek nothing to divide the bad which we cannot control the world we love. What God made us, us and by the love of our Lord and our peace. Play, brothers and sisters. Not let us escape to the heaven which you touch. For the ruins of the sun. Pastor Guy stands and says, Do not listen to this bigot's hateful lies. We must stand together for the rights of our LGBTQIAGNCNTFQP469 plus friends. It is the unalienable right of every LGBTQICBD soup 543 something alpha omega plus to choose to have unrestricted abortions. Anyone who would dare, <coughs> anyone who would dare impose his own subjective morality on another person is objectively disgusting and should be executed by the International Court of Justice. America is great because America is good. Vote your conscience, vote for LGBT rights, shatter the glass ceilings. The crowd erupts with applause. spiritual brothers and sisters of the galaxy. Insight is the driver of learning. Today, science tells us that the essence of nature is insight. The future will be a magical flowering of truth. Our conversations with other travelers have led to an unfolding of supra-sublime consciousness. Who are we? Where on the great mission will we be aligned? Reality has always been beaming with messengers whose bodies are opened by non-locality. Humankind has nothing to lose. Yes. The liberals roar in triumph as the vote numbers creep up one or few at a time. They take turns barely passing each other, but remain roughly equal. The conference sit on the edges of their seats as Joel Godin sweats. LGBT Bishop says it is finished. The votes are equal, six, six, 665. The, votes, the room becomes silent. Joel Godin sinks, sinks to the ground. What now? LGBT Bishop says there is another vote. Rachel stands. Rachel! The agenda is defeated. Rachel casts her vote, and the LGBT vote increases to 666. Rachel, who gave you voting rights? <laughs> <laughs> Rachel removes her sunglasses, revealing end portal eyes. Candles flare through all, all throughout the room. The organ stops cartoonishly. Sorry, Joel Godin. I'm a feminist. I have been all along. Flashback to Rachel wearing sunglasses up to this point, just like they did in all those movies where it was completely unnecessary. 
Pastor Guy says, <laughs> We sent Rachel to you as one of us. She is a liberal, through and through. Joel Godin collapses in pain as the end portal sickness spreads Ouch. through him. Oh. His eyes Ouch. flicker to purple, then back oh. to normal. Ouch. My soul has fallen into the void! I am dying inside! Fallen. Falling. The Horn of Horne, London Catholic and Apostolic Church is overcome by the gates of hell! No. The liberals exult with overly loud cheering and chatter as Joel Godin clutches his chest and breathes out his last words. Oh no. The glory of America slain among the high places. Oh, well, the might have fallen. And I'm not in Kentucky. I was not in the streets of New York. Bless the daughters of the Lord Chicken Rejoice. No. Bless the daughters of the uncircumcised no. exult. No. Even out the Appalachia, let there be no dew arranged up upon you. No surging of the deep. For in this land, the contain of the mighty, is the fire. The rest shot of the coin flick, not the noise of the oil. The daughters of America, rippled with the chicken restaurant that was Christian. Oh, what's the dignity and tender chicken? Who put delicious foods within your stomach? How the mighty have fallen, and the mess of the bell against the liberalism. How the mighty have fallen, and the weapons of the culture war diminished. Joel Godin stands shakily to his feet, and the rejoicing of the liberals comes to a hush. But who cares what this so-called conference says? The real conference was the friends we made along the way in the script we do not follow. <laughs> Joel Godin collapses and dies. The liberals will erupt with laughter <laughs> as demonic forces continue to manifest. They cover his body with a rainbow flag and take out the altar in the center of the room. They place a plain wooden table in its place. No, that should be plain plastic table. <laughs> and place Joel Godin's body on it, draped in the rainbow flag. The resurrection is a spiritual bringing of the body to new life, so let us fornicate aboard and cremate. The liberals light Joel Godin's body on fire. The flames raise high and the colors of the flag are transferred to the fire. The body and flag are reduced to ash. From the ash rises Lenin with a Y, wrapped in rainbow flames. He looks like an important communist leader, but with rainbow hair. Pastor Guy says, it is Lenin with a Y. All hail Lenin with a Y, our one and only <laughs> savior. And the liberals join together to say, all hail Lenin with a Y. All hail Lenin with a Y. Lenin with a Y laughs maniacally as shadows envelop, as shadow envelops the world. The liberals off screen say, we, believe, we often believe in God, the life force friendly observer of heaven and earth. We believe in a Jesus Christ, our good example, who might have been conceived by the Holy Spirit. If you go for that sort of thing, born of the woman Mary, victimized by the government, was crucified, died, and buried. He descended to the dead. The LGBT bishop from off screen. He rose again in the heart of his followers. All of those off screen. On the third day he rose again. Maybe just spiritually in the heart of his followers. We're not sure. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the mother. Why does that say father? At the right hand of the fa mother. <laughs> and he will come, but not to judge anybody, because judging is bad. LGBT bishop off screen. Let us redefine sin. Liberals off screen. We believe in the sending of good thoughts, the holy Catholic pluralism, the communion of mankind, the redefinition of sins, the supremacy of the body, and that somehow everybody makes it except Hitler and Donald Trump. LGBT Bishop off screen. Now let us pray to our mother within us, who empowered us to do this of ourselves. 
liberals off screen. Our mother who is within us, we celebrate your many names. Your wisdom come, your will be done, unfolding from the depths within us. Each day you give us all that we need. You remind us of our limits and we let go. You support us in our power and we act with courage. For you are the dwelling place within us. The empowerment around us and the celebration among us. Now and forever. As the liberals chant, zoom out to show larger and larger areas being consumed by darkness, even Earth itself. Fade to black. Liberals continued off screen. Ah, women. Then the after credit sequence. Fade in to ex scene 39, exterior, Alabast Mountain, day. Alabast sits <laughs> meditating, eyes closed. The Joel Godin, the Godin the, the Joel mobile drives toward and then up the mountain. Alabast's eyes open. Cut to black. I'll be back. Amazing. Indeed. I think that was perfect. I think that's exact, we should use those exact lines. <laughs> Where do I mean, I'm going to give the recording to Moss to Nair for... Uh, there are other people who need to say their lines, though, and the you may have flubbed a few lines, but yeah, the for the most part, we can probably use your lines just from this session. Yeah, just call and paste, even though, honestly, I didn't listen to the script half the time. I just kind of did my own thing. Yeah, we noticed. <laughs> but that made it funnier, because it made even less sense. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> Sometimes we got a bit too logical in the script. <laughs> so here I come <laughs> to say, hey, let's start it down a little bit. What nationality was the taxi cab driver supposed to be again? Um, English American? No, wait. Um, like English New York or something. Let me let me see. I don't know, because you're not the taxi cab driver anyway. <laughs> Am I not? Uh, it was the other <laughs> guy, wasn't it? Uh, mostly bananas. <laughs> he stole my role. <laughs> you... <laughs> well, I, mean, I made a whole film about this. And he can like, do it in I, I deserve that role. <laughs> but no, it's fine. Um... <laughs> Uh, it's a bad English imitation of an American accent due to being raised in America by an English mother. Understandable. <laughs> Understandable. Nice day. So basically Irish. Uh, this, uh, if we don't get an Oscar, I'm suing. <laughs> <laughs> Best screenplay. <laughs> I feel like you want to say it instead of repeating it just because you, you're you secretly liberal. So I think we need to learn the our mother for this. I'm good. Oh, yeah. Um,
<laughs> it was almost done. Well, that's going to cost us a few thousand years in purgatory. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I didn't sing to it. What is this? It's okay, now? we're not baptized yet. <laughs> oh no, that's even worse. <laughs> okay, that's a bit harsh. For I spoke okay, will you at least mute? Okay, well, I'm muting the bottom my end, so I can't hear. Um. Uh. You have been so oh, yeah, so um, good to me. <laughs> Oh yeah, um, yes, but my one actually had a function. Like we need to learn that. I'm script. not sure how we're going to coordinate it, but um, something that we need to do is uh, eventually, is when we record the liberal lines, I want all of the cast members to say the liberal lines and put it together <laughs> so it sounds like the Borg. I agree. <laughs> We could just have a quiet session in one of the voice chats, but it would just be so terrible because of all the different lags. It might make it better, though, if it sounds absolutely horrible. <laughs> okay. Okay, please stop. Okay. Oh yeah, apparently we also need I forgot we do need um three liberals because they're three individual liberals who have lines. And I forgot oh, to put But why wouldn't they all have the same voice? That's a good point. <laughs> um, Uh, but that would making all of them sound like the Borg. Like we, we want them to sound coherent, though, not like the chaotic chanting bit. Mm. The best part of the, the choir thing will be that everyone will probably s start singing his own version. <laughs> Oh, we change these down. To keep it synchronized, I'll probably do the text to speech first, and then everyone will try to sing along to the text to speech. <laughs> that will give it some semblance of being synchronized. Never ending <laughs> In the shadow, you won't light up. Not the you won't climb up. Coming after me. No walls you won't kick down. Fly you won't tear down. Coming after me. It's a rude you won't up. Mountain you won't climb up. Well, that is the most progress we've made on the Methodist in quite a while. Me? That's the yeah, only progress did, yeah. you've made on the Methodist. That's the only thing I've done. <laughs> well, you did help us touch up the script a bit, but that didn't really matter, seeing as you just ignored the script when you wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> and I just like dropped off the face of the earth. Yes. We were talking about firing you if you didn't uh, do something by the end of the year. Oh, you gave me quite a good time. Nice time stretch to do something. But um, in all seriousness, it's just my life has been getting more fun. With... um. Two extra churches added to my belt and working on district committees now. It's just more fun. <laughs> Are you on a rotation or something? Be free? Kind like, of. It, it's kind of more I preach when I'm needed. Um, I work between four churches whenever one of the pastors just need a break. 
I fill in. There's only two churches. I'm on a regular rotation one. Um, and then, like I said, I work on a district level of overseeing 13 different churches in our area. Um, 